This video will be showing how to change the IP addresses in a machine. Uh, the machine will show up with just any old IP address. Before you can connect it to your network, you will have to talk to your IT person to get the IP addresses. You will have to get static IP addresses. So uh, the first step in changing IP addresses. Stop. This training video on Bazerbi equipment is provided as a customer service to Vandenberg Scale customers who have purchased Bazerba product from Vandenberg Scales in the past. Since 2015, Vandenberg Scales has stopped selling Bazerba and designed our own weight price labeling product so that we can properly support our valued customers. The Vandenberg Scales weight price labeling product is specifically designed to endure the rigors of the processing plant environment being extremely robust. The Vandenberg Scales weight price labeling equipment is designed to be lower cost to purchase, easier and simpler to operate, much lower cost to maintain, much lower cost to service, and easily serviced by your own technicians while being washed down capable and extremely durable. We have felt your weight price labeling pain over the years and promise not to overprice parts or services, keep the design simple, and use normal industry available parts. Vandenberg Skills still has a large inventory of Bezerva parts that we will eagerly offer substantial discounts to you on. If you have not explored the Vandenberg Skills weight price labeling equipment, you owe it to yourself to have a look. We are confident that once you understand the advantages, you will purchase Vandenberg Skills weight price labeling product. First step in changing IP addresses is to go to your farthest away device to put in the IP address of it first. So in uh, this machine here, we have two labelers and we have a display. The display will have its own IP address and it is done last. If you do the display IP address first, you will lose connection to all your labelers and you will have to change IP address via your computer with the IP config software. So we'll go to the bottom labeler first. And we will go to mode five. And then we will go to configuration, communication configuration, and we'll go to interfaces, and then to ethernet. So then we'll enter in our IP address. So then we will go back to the operator mode and we will go to our top labeler. So mode five, your password, configuration, communication configuration, interfaces, ethernet, we will do this one. And now that we did both our labelers, now we will do our display. Go to your uh, config system bus. We will go down to IP address and we will type it in. When it's done saving, there now you can see that there's no connection to either labeler. Um, we will also, now that we change that, we will reboot the machine and then your connections will be complete.
After the system's booted up, you can see right now it's everything's booted. If we go back to the screen right here, you can see that now we have all our green boxes around our printers and that we have good connections. That means that our IP addresses have been entered successfully.